I hope this doesn't turn into one of these fail videos. You're gonna burn the house down! Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys have been anticipating this video. It is my keto creme brulee video with four ingredients. So if you're interested in seeing how to make this super easy four ingredient creme brulee recipe, then just keep watching. Here are the four ingredients that you're gonna need to make this super easy keto creme brulee. So number one, first you're gonna need three egg yolks. So you can buy these on Amazon, I'll put the link down below. I'm just kidding. Just buy it at your grocery store. You just need three egg yolks. <laughs> I'm not funny. Uh, you could get, you'll need some vanilla extract, just a tiny drop of it in the mixture. <laughs> I'm still laughing. You'll need one cup of heavy cream. So I use this 35% whipping cream and you can use any heavy cream you want. So one cup of that. You will need your monk fruit and erythritol sweetener here. That's keto to make it a keto creme brulee. So here you go. Uh, I'll put this one's link in the description box below. You guys have already seen my video on monk fruit sweetener and erythritol sweetener and all that. So I'm sure you guys have seen that many, many times already on my channel, but I'll put the link down below for this. Yeah, that's it. And then if you want to do the brulee part of the creme brulee, <laughs> it's creme brulee. I have trouble saying French things in English because I actually speak French. So I would just say creme brulee, but I have to pretend that I don't speak French in order to make it sound cool. So I say creme brulee, <laughs> but you'll also need your torch to get it caramelized at the top to give it that creme brulee type of texture. So this is what you're going to use. This one's actually available on Amazon. So I'll put the link below to all the things besides the eggs that you could buy on Amazon. So if you want to see this video, just keep watching. Preheat the oven to 300 degrees. Okay, step one is to measure 30 grams of the monk fruit and erythritol sweetener from So Nourish, which is the one that I have. So we zero it. 30 grams. Okay, that is 30 grams right there. If you don't believe me, 30 grams right there. Then you take your three egg yolks. That egg is giving me anxiety because it looks like it's gonna fall off the counter. Then you take your three egg yolks. Uh, sometimes I accidentally put the white instead of the yolk because I forget what I'm doing. So you can just do this little process here to get rid of all the egg whites. And then you put just the yolk part here. So that's one. This is so cringy. Why did I put the eggshells in the egg whites? Two. Okay, actually, I take that back because I'm gonna use that to make some steamed eggs. Let's not waste stuff. And this is number three. Oh no. We must fetch the egg yolk without breaking the eggs. That's a tiny egg yolk. Anyway, there's number three. Then you take your whisk and you whisk it into the sweetener until it looks like a sugary egg. Then you're gonna measure out one cup of 35% heavy cream and put it into the pot until it starts to bubble. In the meantime, you're gonna add a little sprinkle of vanilla extract into the egg yolk mixture because I forgot. That's just vanilla extract. Oops. I'll this video has quickly turned into how to finger paint with vanilla extract. You could just buy that at Costco. Then you can take your little cute ramekins. I like to make my creme brulee in these because they're just perfectly portioned and they're pretty small. Now, since the heavy cream is starting to boil, what you're going to do is that you're going to slowly whisk it into your eggs. The stove is on fire, the stove is on fire. There you go, you have whisked it into your mixture. You can put it into the little ramekins. Two, 
here. That makes two little portions right here of keto creme brulee. So I'm gonna put these into the oven. I'm gonna bake them at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 minutes. Then I'm gonna cool them and then I'm gonna put more sweetener on top and then we're gonna torch it and make the actual creme brulee. Close the oven. That's what they look like when they're all baked. So these are the creme brulees that were sitting in the fridge for a little bit. I'm about to use the monk fruit and erythritol sweetener to caramelize them so you can see what it looks like to make a keto creme brulee. So keep watching. The next step once the creme brulee has cooled after coming out of the oven is that you're going to use this monk fruit and erythritol blend of sweetener again. I'm using the granular one. And then you take just about one tablespoon and we're gonna make that nice crust at the top of the creme brulee with the torch. That might even be too much. So just a little bit less than a tablespoon. As an experiment, in this one I put just a little bit over one tablespoon and in this one I put just under a tablespoon. So we'll experiment with which one looks the best and tastes the best. Okay, now for the moment of truth. See, it's nice and hard. This is the one with a little bit more than a tablespoon and this one's just a little under the tablespoon. So it has this nice crust here. Mmm. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So you can hear this nice. Wow. So it's got this nice thick crust and the nice egg yolk inside with the cream. Delicious. As you can see, it has a nice crust here and it tastes absolutely amazing. This is a guilt-free creme brulee, totally keto. So if there's anyone out there who is keto or can't eat sugar, this is a guilt-free way to have creme brulee. And the sweetener has zero net carbs in it, and it's incredible. So if you wanna make this, then good luck. And if you post your recipes, then make sure you tag me at Y-P-I-Y-A-L-E, or you could tag the fast forward underscore to health Instagram account and show me your creme brulee. I'll see you guys next time. And if you haven't joined our Facebook accountability group yet, you can join us at facebook.com slash groups slash fast forward to health. I'll put the link down below. I'll put my email down below if you want to subscribe to our email list with any type of videos for motivation, keto recipes, water fasting challenges, OMAD challenges, intermittent fasting challenges, everything like that. So send me an email at fastforwardtohealth at gmail.com and I'll put you guys on that email list. I hope you guys like this keto creme brulee recipe and I'll see you guys next time. Happy keto, happy fasting. Hi guys, welcome back to my... As I just mentioned, my dog's barking. He got sprayed by a skunk yesterday, so I'm not very happy with him.